Radio Giggle Water and Quilt. What you say? No Baldo Dash or Baloney here. Cheers, everyone, and welcome to the Unfiltered Gentlemen. No matter how you take your hooch, we've got something ice cold and on tap. Now, serving it to you straight and unfiltered, here are Craig, Scott, and Dan. Oh, yeah. The boys are back in town, yeah. everyone. Oh, yeah, yeah, they are. Yeah. <laughs> we left town, and now we're back. I don't know. Hey, it's Unfiltered there. Gentlemen. I'll stop talking. Wait, I guess I better keep talking. <laughs> uh, welcome in, everybody. Thank you for listening the Unfiltered Gentlemen. I'm Greg. That is Scott. Hey. And that's Dan. I'm not Mike. <laughs> oh, thank God. I needed like an applause sound effect. <laughs> or just girls throwing their panties at the stairs. Oh, yeah, finally. Yeah. So many yeah. girls just got wet. <laughs> and you're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah, that's sorry right. you didn't have any uh, time to prepare the napkins. But <laughs> yes, the actual Dan is back in yep. studio. Boop, boop, be doop. <laughs> Man, you guys must have played that like 400 <laughs> times in the past two weeks. Oh, uh, we had to replace you with something. Yeah, well, so, I, was, I was there in spirit, apparently. Yeah, we replaced you with you. Yeah. Uh, so anyways, thank you guys for listening. Hope you had a one, a one, a fantastic. I guess I was going to say wonderful and fantastic. And it came out as one fantastic. <laughs> one fantastic. <laughs> Hope you had a fantastic holiday season. Uh, we had our Christmas and New Year's episodes. Sans Dan. Correct. Unfortunately, he was yeah. sick. Was it coming out your butt or something? <laughs> no, it wasn't. But <laughs> That's good. It wasn't going in your butt, was it? <laughs> oh, no. 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 Oh, no, no. Mike was here, though. <laughs> he was. Yeah. Speaking of going in your butt. Yeah, I felt like he filled in rather admirably. and you know the Yeah, he did one hell of a <laughs> mediocre job. <laughs> it was great. Yeah. He, he, uh, he did a great job uh, making us miss you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Thank you, Mike. Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, he really solidified that job for yes. you. <laughs> <laughs> Does my microphone look gayer now? I mean... <laughs> When I left it, something's wrong with it. There's something know. white dripping off. <laughs> Why's it got lube on it? Yeah, it smells oh. a little like poo for some reason. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. Anyways, so thank you guys for coming back. Uh, after the holiday season, we had a couple of interviews, mainly because we were taking some time off. <laughs> I mean, uh, no, those were fresh. Yeah, Just that's kidding. right. They were. Yes, they were fresh. So uh, I, if was, you, I was sick that long. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Uh, if you haven't had a chance, check those out. Uh, the first interview after the new year was. With a, a couple of home brewers and some of the guys over at Brew Lab in Carpinteria, California. And then the one from last week, one after that, was with Jacob from Silver Moon Brewing. And uh, he's the guy who sent us free beer, so he's our favorite person ever. Yes, he's the he man. Uh, and he also makes good, makes good beer. So anyways, thanks for coming back. It's a new year. It's a new beer. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Hence the burp word of the week, new beer. I like it's it. A, closer to a phrase, I guess. But uh, New beer. Yeah, new beer. That's our burp phrase of the week. I like it. Yes. And uh, the beer we're drinking, which I'll tell you about in just a second, it's kind of a new beer for the new year oh, as well. Okay. So, cool. uh, quick reminder don't forget Ringtone. It's on iTunes and tunes.co. It's T U U N E S.co. Uh, just search for beer science. Get yourself our fancy ringtone. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I had it. I was like, I'm going to say ringtone with bourbon. It's going to be great. Instead, it was very Mike like. <laughs> uh, so, anyways, yes, check that out. All right, let's talk about what we is drinking right now. Grab your libations, pals. It's time for beer of the week. And if you're drinking well, you know that you're my friend. And I'll say, I think I'll have myself a beer. <laughs> I think I will. Uh, so, I will be talking about this in a little bit, but I. Took quite the trip to San Diego over the New Year holiday. Yeah, and it was beer tastic. I bet so beer tastic. But I'll get I'll get into that. Okay. First, let's talk about what we're drinking. We're drinking uh, the Hefeweizen from Mission Brewery down there in San Diego. Brought a Crowler back. Oh, right. Crowlers are so fun to watch. You know, putting the, the seal on the can. Oh yeah, and everything. I love it. Plus, it's bigger than a bomber. True that. I love it, and it lasts longer than a Crowler. Anyway, so we're drinking the Hef from Mission Brewery. Uh, I wanted to start off this new beer with a Hefeweizen for a few reasons. First of all, I think we've all uh, had an ass load of IPAs. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. not that there's anything wrong with IPAs. Still love them. Correct. Still, still love the shit out of them. Not that there's anything wrong with it. Right. Thank you, Seinfeld. <laughs> uh, I just feel like it's time that uh, the IP or the, the Hef comes to light. Dang. I've noticed Give lately, yeah, that breweries are starting to brew these again. It seems like for a, quite a while, like once the IPs, IPAs kind of took over, yeah. it was like, all right, IPAs and nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> all right. 
That's a new beer go. for Dan. There we go. <laughs> talk to us. Good Starting stuff. Know, right. man. Yes. I had to get after back. Start the new year right. Yeah. After quite a slump. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, I thought uh, let's talk about it a half. Let's enjoy a half. Breweries seems to be seem to be bringing on more halves lately, and I really like that. Um, it was the Hefeweizen that really got me into craft beer in the first place. Wow. You know, uh, I also had a lot of shitty beer and it progressed into like Blue Moon, which, you know, <laughs> was great for five minutes. Right. <laughs> and then I realized how shitty. This was in my early 20s. <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay, so Blue Moon is sort of based lightly on a half. Let's have a real half. It's like, oh, these are fucking delicious. And that's kind of where it all started with the half. So I'm glad that breweries are focusing a little more on hefts. I'm enjoying the shit out of this one. It's very uh, cloudy as it should be. Mm -hmm. Correct. A lot of banana notes to it. Yes. I'm not even going to tell you BA score mainly because I forgot it, but I think it was like a 78, and I think that's unjustly uh, Yeah, it's good. I I like it a lot. I haven't had a a heft, period, in a long time. Right. I mean, you, you can sometimes find like a Widmer. Or a pyramid, like that's kind oh, of yeah, like yeah, the yeah, most pyramid. commercial half. Mm-hmm, correct, and they're tasty, especially pyramid. Uh, but I feel like hefts are so like real hefts. Like, oh, we got Blue Moon. Like, first of all, that's not craft beer. Nope, <laughs> that's Miller. Get it right. Yeah, uh, we got Blue Moon, and it's also not a half. So New beer, nice. Oh, there you go. That's Two what you three. do. Two out of three. I struggled with it. You just walked right <laughs> over. <Yeah. laughs> oh, twice on Sunday. So, anyways. <laughs> We're starting off with a half. I'm enjoying it. I hope you people are enjoying it. Uh, and uh, yeah, we'll move on to other beers and stuff. Sure. As the, as the year goes on. Good stuff. Uh, one thing to mention before we start talking about other stuff is our coaster giveaway. It's going on now. Oh, right. If you guys want some free coasters. And I've decided I'm going to throw in a little bonus. Free coasters from different craft breweries and our own coaster, of course, as well as these cool little uh, beer cap magnets. That Ooh. the lady friend makes. Oh, oh wow. Cool. Yeah, we get uh, beer caps, and we, we try and save the ones that don't get all fucked up. And, right. And kind of pound them back into shape, and then make magnets out of them. Nice. Oh, nice. Yeah, they're pretty sweet, so uh, that's being thrown in the gi- the coaster wow. uh, little gift pack there. I like it. Yeah, yeah. So I like it. Nice the rules, bonus. Yeah, the rules are as easy as they were the first time we did the coaster giveaway. Just give us something we can talk about on the show. Yeah. Just there participate. Yeah. Tales that's from right. Uber, or uh, a beer we need to be putting down that we can... You know, that's ex- accessible to us. Don't tell us to go find Planet of the Younger, you asshole. <laughs> We're not in NorCal near the brewery. It's <laughs> not going to happen. Give us something realistic. Right. Sorry. Anyways, Coaster Giveaway. Get on it for us. All right. It's been a while. I think we should talk a little sports. <laughs> Whether it's the Baltimore Chop or the one-two punch, it's time for sports. We have a couple champions in this room. Correct. One of them not being Scott, of course. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, or his team, the Chargers. Oh, oh. Uh, low blow, low Man. blow, low hanging fruit. Sorry. <laughs> wow. Uh, we talked about oh, this you. a few months back. We were doing a, uh, b- a fantasy football league, I guess, with with the guys over from the booze league, the boozies. Yeah, and while I did horrendous, Dan over here fucked around and got a triple double. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> nice cube or Mac Ten? <laughs> that was cube. Cube, yes. Uh, he cubed it up over here. He did. And uh, he told those guys what it's all about. I did. It was good. Yeah, they underestimated me. Underestimated me. As they always do. Yeah. That's right. Uh, I've never used the NFL.com fantasy system. That is the fucking worst. You know. Suck it, it Boozley. <laughs> <laughs> Wiley, the goddamn commissioner with his NFL.com horse shit. <laughs> I did appreciate the, uh, the it has like uh, previews of the game and then the recap afterwards. If you guys would, you know, there's, mm. it was like a, a headline and it would say like, you know, like my team was what, Captain America or whatever. Something, yeah. After Cap. And like it would say beats this other team and it looked pretty cool and said who my leading scorer was, how many points they had and history of what i did last week and it was mm-hmm. pretty cool but for the most part you're right the app worked like sh- like ass and it was just yeah you know, kind of terrible and i couldn't even figure out how to talk shit to people yeah that was difficult too yeah so i never did and i was kind of quietly winning the yeah <laughs> too busy winning it yeah, under the it. radar there <laughs> you greg popovich their ass yeah. a little bit yeah. a little bit yeah because i had no idea and then all of a sudden you're like i'm in the championships wait what <laughs> yeah. good fuck those guys and they're <laughs> nfl.com using asses take yeah. that talking on the field that's yeah. right yeah uh as as glad as i am that you won that because uh some pride was on the line between the two entities Correct. I'm even happier that I won the other fantasy oh, yeah. football league, and Somebody's I am a couple hundred bucks richer. There wow. you go. I'll have you uh, know that I spent the money on good things, and uh, sort of will affect you guys. Oh, yeah? I am now officially a home brewer. 
What? Yeah. Like that. Uh, no way. Yeah. I oh, went out. I dropped all the cash I got from Fantasy. Did and, you uh, really? Got a wow. whole group. It's in my shower fermenting as we speak. All right. Yeah. Holy crap, yeah, dude. It's been there for, nice. uh, what's today? Monday, uh, nine days, uh, eight eight or nine days now. Wow. It's about ready to go to the second fermentation Ooh. process. <laughs> and in a short three to eight weeks, Man. we'll be drinking uh, some brown <laughs> ale. I'm, All right. I, I'm reacting like a girl who heard her friends getting married. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> this is way better. It is. Yeah. I'm like, holy crap, dude. I can't like, blame you at all. This is way better. Yeah. I got five gallons of hoppy brown ale, brown ale sitting in my shower I'm right now. I'm gushing over here. This is <laughs> unbelievable. Yeah. So, uh, in my pants, too. <laughs> <laughs> I can't blame you. It'll second ferment for another week or so, and then uh, I think it's got to sit in the bottles for like a week to two weeks. That's or awesome. Like that. But soon enough, we'll be having some... Uh, unfiltered beer right on right. we've been talking to enough of those you know the the people have been you know the yeah. breweries and everything like that and how to get it going and i figured it, i, I st- kind of thought to myself i wonder if he's going to get into it at all with for so long my whole thing was like they do such a good job no one wants to taste my shit right when i could just buy their shit that's my thinking i'd be like ah, yeah. never mind i'll just yeah. buy everyone else's <laughs> yeah, yeah. but i've uh-huh. been thinking about it a little bit like oh it seems like a fun hobby to do mm-hmm. and then uh there's a couple of things in san diego a couple of tours we took and we were talking to one of the brewers and i was like you know what this sounds like a really fun thing to do so uh got home took my my winnings and Decided to brew some beer. Right on. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. That's, yeah, that's pretty good. Cool. If it's going to cause me to put my beer and my remote control down, then uh, I'm not interested. Not interested? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if it requires any kind of work, because I'm such a lazy fuck. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm doing all the work. So we're good. Yeah. We're yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's why I don't homebrew, because it would require some kind of a mm-hmm. effort on yeah, my part. That so. is... That is uh, yeah, I'd have to get up out of the chair. Wow. Downfall for you. Yeah. So this truly this, is the burp yeah, word is, of the yeah, new, new beer. beer. No kidding. Yeah. New year for some new beer. So hopefully I, I didn't agree. fuck it up because that's 40 bucks worth of beer sitting in my shower. <laughs> Plus, you know, another 100 or whatever. Oh, my something God. Worth of gear. See, that's wow. my concern. But <laughs> Yeah, I know. Because the, sure the, the, the beer it. ingredients themselves just for this five gallons was like 40 bucks. So uh, I hope I didn't fuck it up. <laughs> right. Yeah. And it took forever to make. God damn. Is <laughs> it like, give yourself two, three hours, five and a half hours later. Wow. It's up till two in the morning brewing beer. <laughs> <laughs> Mainly, like I learned things that I didn't know. Like I should do a whole segment of like new brewer tips. I bet you could. Because I'm learning so much as I do it. Like uh, have, like they say you need some ice to cool down, you know, after you're, you're done boiling for an hour. Oh, they they so underestimate. Get like bags and bags of ice from the store. It took us like an hour and a half to cool down the beer, mm. and uh, don't use an electric stove. God damn, that took forever to boil. <laughs> oh wow. So oh, and uh, the house will not only reek of beer for a day, which of all smells, that's definitely not the worst. Mm. Um, but your your walls and your vent above the boil, which is dripping beer. <laughs> I had Ooh, to I had to crap. keep wiping it down oh, wow. because I didn't want it to dri- you know like drip back into the beer. Wow. So it was weird and. We could smell it out in the hallways. We could, we could literally <laughs> smell it outside, like across. And I know people can't see this. There's a little grassy area out here, and across the way, you could still smell the beer. I was like, "Good lord!" Wow, it, it was strong. It wasn't even an IPA. Imagine if it was like a super hobby oh, IPA. Man. Oh like, my gosh, that'd be a fucking dank city. <laughs> so, uh, it, but it, that's not discouraging you at all. The smell. Well, I mean, just the w- the kind of what you're seeing now, like you know the the hardships of homebrew, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> well, my biggest hope and dream is that the cunt upstairs had to smell it for like a day and a half <laughs> too. You know, like I enjoy beer and I enjoyed the process, so I was like, oh, this is fruits of my labor. But for right. her, it's like the fuck is this smell? Okay, it smells like old beer and weed. That's good. Then yeah. you got into the right thing. I yeah. Think. So I I hope it just permeated and sat there for a week. Fuck her. <laughs> <laughs> you imagine but, your floors like bleeding beer. <laughs> Wouldn't that be crazy? <laughs> that would be great. I'd start licking the floor. Yeah, oh, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Why are you licking the floor? Yeah, It'd be me and the dog down There's there. Beer just, down here. Yeah, you start breaking up a whole bunch of pretzels and leaving them on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> whole new meaning to uh, munching carpet. Oh. <laughs> yeah. oh. Just saying. Hey oh. Yeah. Oh, sports. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah, you're right. We're, we're talking a little sports. Yeah, that's right. I won the league. Yeah, yeah. that's right. You won the league <laughs> and right. I won the other league. That's right. Fuck all y'all. Way to go, guys. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Suck it. Um and I think uh, I contributed to your wins, so Oh yeah. You're welcome. Probably, yeah. yeah. You're you're our bye weeks. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Speaking of bye weeks, Chargers Uh-oh. are moving to LA. Oh, oh man. Uh, I, I don't think that's breaking news to anybody, nope. but uh the great part is 
they have backtracked on their new logo. We've oh, yeah. all seen their shit logo, right? It was terrible. Yeah, they they released a press or they put out a press release saying like, "Oh, that wasn't our real logo. <laughs> we were just trying to say like we're in LA and welcome LA fans." Oh my and stuff. god! Yeah, well, that's not our real logo. Like, who would put that out as a real logo? You're you fired. Guys, really? Yeah. You thought that was our logo? Oh, come on! I yeah. know. <laughs> oh, you guys sure are silly. You silly LA fans. I, yeah. oh, I thought man. that was silly to begin with. I mean, you know, and the fact that you know that they would have a new logo with LA in it, whereas I, I don't even think their old logo had SD in no. it or no. San Diego or anything. It was just a bolt. Why isn't it still just a bolt? Yeah, you yeah, don't there's have to nothing wrong that. with that. The you only thing that should change that. is on the jersey where it says San Diego real small. You can make it say Los Angeles now. Yeah, exactly. Aside of you know from that, and for a while it would say Carson. <laughs> yeah. Carson Chargers. Yeah. You know? There you Whee. go. So anyways, fuck you Chargers. Yeah. And, and they guys. even like they, they changed the color. The same logo, but they had powder blue and yellow. Yeah, they released the yeah. dark blue and white first. And yeah. it's like it's an all new logo. It's the same logo, just that the powder blue and powder the blue. gold. And, and then they had the word chargers on there, powder blue and gold. Yeah. And mm, man. Then they then they came out like you said, they, oh that's not really our logo. Yeah. We're we're that's just for marketing. <laughs> I feel like they hired Doug from the movie up to design their <laughs> shit. You know, just like everything like Squirrel. Squirrel. <laughs> I have a new logo for you, Master. Oh, man. I love logos. I think they're going to fuck themselves by moving. I think all San Diego fans have given them the middle finger, and I think anybody in L.A. doesn't give a flying fuck about well, them coming up here. I, I, during the Laker Clipper game, and I forgot to send this to you, sorry, but um, there was a... Uh uh, I guess they they showed the logo for the you know the Chargers mm-hmm. and how they're coming to L.A. during the Clipper game and like everyone started booing <laughs> and then they showed one of the Chargers uh, offensive linemen or something. He's like, oh, and everyone's like, who the heck is that? He <laughs> says, oh, he's a Charger. I went, boo! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh my god! Yeah, man. but to be fair, they then put the Clippers logo up. Oh yeah, exactly. I think it's garbage. Yeah. You know? I think the majority of those fans probably went to go watch the Lakers anyways, lose to the Clippers. Right, but it's a lot cheaper to go to a Clipper game at yeah. the Lakers on the road. Exactly. On the road, in quotes. Yeah. So I don't blame them. But, uh, like, yeah, Chargers are fucking retarded. But yeah. good news for you. That's another uh, Raiders visit down here. That's right. They don't have to drive all the way down to San Diego anymore. Yeah. 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 It's a much shorter drive to beat up some people in the parking lot. <laughs> mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. You Save, and Elvia. You should be saving <laughs> gas. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm ready to roll. Yeah, I, I like this though. No moving company in San Diego will help them move up here. Oh, yeah, that hurts. They've all denied them. It, apparently, there's a lot to move up, like office equipment and gym equipment, and like all the stuff that goes with running the team has mm-hmm. to come up to LA. Everything, yeah, yeah. Well, no one's. Everyone has said we're not going to help you move all oh the San Diego. There's even been a few LA moving companies that have turned it down. It's been about two dozen companies to turn them down so far. Yeah, players are gonna have to move themselves. Hey, I guess so. I'll help them in my Prius. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, because yeah. the estimate it was like a hundred thousand dollars to right. Move. Well, so don't expect a tip. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Might get Rivers tip. Get okay, Uber moves. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Maybe Rivers has to move his own kids now. Oh man, that, he needs a problem. bus for that. Yeah, that's a big process <laughs> <Bus>. in itself. <laughs> Oh, what else in and football? They're, huh? they're burning all the the jerseys. And oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, they're Lebroning the Chargers. That's, that's I guess because I'm so cheap. That's what I don't understand. If I'm paying the money for a jersey, I don't care what happens. I'm not going to burn it. Right. No. Plus, I mean, they're burning jerseys with players like you know they're like old jerseys like Seau and Fouts and all these. Right. I mean, why that you know why are you burning those guys? You know, get get a. Clipper, I mean, uh, get a, a Charger flag or something to burn that, but don't burn right. players' jerseys. How you yeah. just like print something out at home and it'll cost you ten cents? Yeah, <laughs> burn that. Yeah, go yeah. print out a logo, print out one of their stupid logos and burn that. Yeah, yeah I know. And that kind of seemed like like ever since LeBron did that, that's like the norm now. Like yeah, you have to do everybody it. Everybody does that now. Durant to turn leaves, burn his jersey. Like Oklahoma City has yeah. been like. Look at Cleveland started. Yeah, like Oklahoma City's been with him for like how like five of years of his career, and they're gonna burn his jersey. Like right. get the hell out of here. You guys just. Be became a team settled down yeah yeah I mean, in fact I'm seattle fan. drafted him you fuckers exactly <laughs> That's right. thank you yes yeah i'm still i'm still a fan i mean i'm still gonna root for the chargers mm-hmm. i mean they're being really stupid right now and doing stupid things but yeah you know, i'm not gonna you know start crying and acting like a bitch about it yeah. I mean, they did what they did and 
I mean, I can really care less whether they play in San Diego or L.A. I, I would they're rather they didn't play. play. Yeah, they're gonna, so now we got two teams in L.A. that yeah. suck. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna root for them. You're not gonna of like, course. yeah, you know, bother yourself with things like competency or anything. <laughs> <laughs> Why you start now? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> or wins and losses. It's like me and the Lakers, I will blindly follow them off the roof. You know, like <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, like, you know w- yeah. water's filled with sharks. I'll, I'm, I'm down. I'll follow them. And I, I can proudly say I've not spent a nickel on the Lakers since Jimmy Buss took over. Oh really? Oh yeah. Oh, and yeah. I'm yeah. not going to until he steps down. <laughs> and I hope other people follow suit. Oh, man. Dan's like, oh, shit, I got a lot of stuff to return. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, the whole Charger thing is dumb. As a non-Charger fan and a non-Rams fan, I mean, mm-hmm. I feel like because we're L.A., they send us the shit teams <laughs> because it's a big market. It's like, we're going to make money either way. It's a big market. Right. Now, I think the Chargers have fucked themselves because San Diego fans are pissed. LA fans don't give a shit. Who's going to buy their jerseys? Eh, nobody. Mm-hmm. Um, you have to start winning before... Yeah, you can win them over. that's the thing. They're gonna have to Seahawks their way to some money, aka win finally, yeah. and then get a bunch of bandwagon fans. Right, that's right, Seahawks. Well, I mean, I, your fans are all a bunch of bandwagon assholes. Well, that and I, I kinda, <laughs> Raiders fans might be dicks, but at least they've been there. <laughs> since, right. uh, oh my god, forever. that's true. Yeah, we're yeah. taking a beating. We're still there. Yeah, you're you're taking what you're giving out. Yeah, it's yeah. true. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> but I was gonna say, I think the Clippers kind of wrote that blueprint on how to. You know, build your team up and then build your fan base to follow it. You know what I mean? So I think that that, that that's what they're going to try to do is build a winner and hopefully the city will get behind it. Doubt it, but we'll see. Yeah, Yeah. because even the Clippers, I could see them falling apart and then nobody following them again. Right. (laughs) You know what I mean? It doesn't matter. (laughs) My favorite was uh, a friend of mine, uh, John, who's a San Diego fan, grew up in San Diego. Oh, right. Posted this video. It was like a highlight reel of all the Clipper or Clipper Charger (laughs) things that have happened. You know, like, oh, this and this and this. And I I messaged him. I said, uh, Hey, buddy, where's those Super Bowl 29 highlights? Oh, oh, oh man. I may be a Niner fan. <laughs> wow. Well, and, and then to kind of compound that, how many Freudian slips of uh, Clippers have we said about the Chargers? Yeah, no. <laughs> I think each of us has said it once. At least. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of yeah. interesting. Yeah, fuck you, Chargers. Who They're cares? the new Clippers. Yeah, I, I won't care about an L.A. team until they give us one that can do something. Right. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, I was I was a Rams fan, and when the Rams moved, <laughs> I got mad. So I'm not gonna be a Rams. Fan. That's when when I became a Charger fan. Right. But I didn't go around and start you know burning shit. Right. Like that, you know. You're yeah. also cheap. So. Uh, yeah. I didn't. I don't think I had anything to burn. Know. Yeah. They could come back. It's the NFL. Yeah. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just and like, here's the other thing, L.A., because we've been so, you know, it's been so long since we've had a team, everyone has their own team that's not the Rams or the Chargers or the Raiders. I mean, there's a lot of Raider fans, but, you know, it's it's, it's not necessarily local fans. You know, when the Raiders left, a lot of people like, well, f- or fuck you, Raiders kind of thing. Right. Except for Oxnard. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, you know, I'm a Niners fan. I know a bunch of Steelers fans, a lot of Patriots. You know, it's everyone's a fan somewhere else. Right, bringing the Chargers or the Rams here, no one gives a shit. Right, I'm not. Oh, the Rams are here. Fuck you, 49ers. I'm going to jump ship to the other <laughs> shitty team in the league. Like, there's, there's right. no need. So, and, and to kind of just piggyback on what you said about me having to cut my travel down. Um, can you imagine how packed of Raider fans that Charger Stadium is going to be when they play at Sandy or you know at Los Angeles? Right, yeah. it's going to be like it, it was already fifty fifty. If at that's least. being generous, yeah, it's probably going to be like ninety ten. They're, you know what they should do is just put a net around the stadium, and when they all come in, it's like, all right, let's <laughs> round them up. I'm sure you've all got warrants. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Too easy. <laughs> oh, anyways, other football news. Mike Tomlin calls the Patriots assholes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Antonio Brown was uh, doing a little Facebook Live video in the That's, locker room. It's ridiculous. You could sort of hear Tomlin in the background. The fr- Have you guys seen the video? I haven't seen the video. He, he's just posing to the camera the entire time. Oh, really? Like smiling, and he did like a call me sign with his fingers. And oh, my God. It was ridiculous. You didn't actually see Tomlin. The audio of Tomlin was shit because he's around the corner you know, oh, calling okay. the Patriots assholes. But it's so dumb. My favorite was Tom Brady's response. He's like, yeah, Belichick would never allow that. <laughs> he's like he's a little old school well and that's what i was thinking too at first i was thinking like oh what's up with antonio brown and all these kids wanting to record everything and then post it online you know like d'angelo russell immediately came yeah. to mind mm-hmm. but um another thing i kind of thought i wonder if tomlin wanted them to do that you know what i mean like he said maybe he was posing into it like hey put this out there for them for whatever reason yeah because he also bitched about uh, the Patriots having one more day off than the Steelers had because of the way they changed the schedule around. Right. And I didn't really think that was more like bitching. I would think it was just more like, hey, we're preparing for an opponent who's you know, hard to beat, and now they have a head start on us. Right. So we really have to buckle down and pay attention. 
you know, but uh, I think a lot of people were thinking like he was bitching about it. But Maybe. I mean, mm-hmm. mostly I don't care. Mm-hmm. I, oh, just, uh, I think it's stupid that Antonio Brown did that. Yeah. Um, That's the part I was kind of. I mean, all coaches are in the locker room going, they're a bunch of fucking assholes. Yeah. Like, no, who yeah. who oh. in there is like, I can't wait till we pay the Patriots. I want to <laughs> shake Tom Brady's hand and get an autograph. Yeah. If my coach isn't cussing, I don't want him in my yeah. locker room. Right. If, you better if, curse at me. Yeah. If he's just talking about how nice of a guy Tom Brady is <laughs> and that we're going to play him next week, yeah. but let's not hurt him too bad. Yeah. That guy should be fired. He should be calling them an asshole. Yeah. I don't care who they are. Yeah. We're going to f- play those assholes. Belichick said some. They asked him what he thought. He's like, I don't know. I'm not on that snap face thing. <laughs> it was the greatest Belichick response ever. It was very Belichick. Well, actually, he did Belichick a favor because now Belichick don't have to record him himself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Camera's already rolling. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe he paid you know, off Antonio Brown. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Uh, what else? Oh, the Cowboys-Packers game Dude. Uh, has a, had a higher rating this weekend than Game 7 of the World Series. Yeah. Yeah, it was a good game. It was an awesome game. Yeah, of course, that was the game I missed. <laughs> oh, really? I watched the game before at the oh. the chief. No, not the chief. Well, the after afterwards, the Steelers and oh, you mean the one on Saturday? Yeah. Wait, wait when was the Packers Cowboys? Sunday morning or afternoon? It must have been. Yeah, six. yeah. Oh yeah, I didn't get to see. I got to see the first half of that one. Mm. Doing a lot of driving this weekend. Mm. So the first half of Cowboys Packers, and I was like, oh, it's what I thought. Packers oh. gonna kick their ass. You know, for a while, yeah, and yeah. then all of a sudden I started getting text messages from people like, "Are you watching the game?" And I looked, I was like, "What the fuck? Yeah, yeah. what happened since the first half?" And that's so. what I was kind of curious about. You know, was I, I thought, you know, Green Bay's got a weak secondary, but I thought, okay, Dak is playing within himself. They play conservatively. Conservatively, he's not going to be able to beat their secondary by throwing the ball, and that's what he started doing. I'm like, "Holy shit! Yeah. Look at this kid!" Yeah, yeah. yeah. it was unbelievable. Go. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Patriots offensive coordinator, Josh McDaniels, was interviewed for the 49ers head coaching job. Yeah, he turned it down. <laughs> I think it's funny that you go to the interview and then you turn it down. It's like, I just wanted a free trip to San Francisco or well, San Jose. Really. Why didn't he go then? What the hell was that? I don't know. Clam he, chowder. Yeah. He just said uh, he wants to focus on the playoffs now. Oh, that was like, his excuse. He's like, oh, you guys aren't moving to L.A. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Niners. Oh, a Chargers. Me. Oh. Yeah. Uh, and the Cubs visit the White House. Nice. Uh, you know, the championship <laughs> team. Well, they they, they kind of did it, had to do it before it was too late. <laughs> a lot of the team would be deported if they walked in there. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Uh, Back to Cuba, you go. Wasn't uh, Barack Obama, isn't he a White Sox fan? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think so, right? So mm-hmm. this is kind of like whatever to him, I guess. Yeah. It'd be like me meeting the Clippers. Like, I don't give a shit. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Hey, I'm Blake Griffin. This yeah. yeah. Suck my dick. Yeah, what, <laughs> whatever, Blake. Uh, uh, you can suck my dick now. <laughs> <laughs> is that Brock? <laughs> I'm trying. Sorry. Yeah. Clinton beat him to that. The ghost of uh, Mike is rubbing off on you over <laughs> here, I think. Well, uh, <laughs> oh, no. I won't. Uh, oh, all right, let's man. do a little crotch talk. <laughs> Have a grievance to share? It's time for a crotch talk. <laughs> no real grievances, uh, just things to share. First, as I mentioned before, I was in San Diego over the uh, New Year's holiday. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God, so much beer was had. So many breweries were went to. As there should be. <laughs> oh, God, it's so good. You know, the first couple of days kind of didn't do a whole lot of uh, brewery visiting, and I started to get a little antsy, and I was like, we need to make up for this shit. Oh, man. And, uh, Hit some breweries. You know, I can't find my bottle opener. Can someone open this for me? Show enough. And um, in, in the meantime, I'll, I'll I'll list off. I literally took a note every time we went to uh, a brewery. So here's all the breweries we went to. Benchmark Brewing, San Diego Brewing, thank you. Mission, as we're drinking. Monkey Paw, Helix, Bolt, as in the Chargers, Bolt. Oh. Uh, not for long. <laughs> now they'll be the Padres brewing. <laughs> they did bolt. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Belching Beaver, Stone, Lost Abbey, Port, Green Flash, L. Smith, Fall Brewing, Mike Hess, Thorn Street Brewing, and we ended our trip off at Duckfoot. How long were you there? A couple hours. <laughs> 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 Just driving through. <laughs> oh, there, we got there uh, Friday night. And then left the following Thursday morning. Ah, oh, nice. oh okay, okay. Oh, about a week. Yeah, it's a little shy okay, of a okay. week. I mean, the Friday didn't really count. We just went straight to our place. But, right on, uh, dude. Here's our backup beer, whoever needs more beer. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, it was cool. We did uh, tours at um, Stone, which was really cool. We also mm-hmm. did a tour at Alesmith. Um, Alesmith was fun. I mean, Stone was great because it's Stone and it's huge and they, they you know show you all their 
really huge you know we go to like say five threads or local breweries around here and, and they have their equipment it's like oh yeah those huge tanks whatever like <laughs> this is fucking insane compared to what you see around here really uh, the production is massive and they're talking about how they can a you know like a, speed up the aging the fermentation process instead of you know a week they can do it in like four hours wow you know, wow just, the volume and the science they have behind it. It's really cool. They have their own in-house strain of yeast that they don't share with anybody. So they're not just like, Hey, we need, you know, buy a package of yeast like home brewers do. It's like they cultivate their own yeast and they have science people keeping, uh, keeping track of it and cultivating it and keeping it alive and healthy wow. and all that stuff. Uh, L Smith was really cool because no one else was there. <laughs> really? No one else signed up for the tour. It was just us. It was oh, me cool. and the lady friend. Oh, man. So we had our own like free private tour, which was really fun. Um, not just because we were by ourselves, but we, we kind of asked more than questions that might pertain to the tour. And and it's kind of what really pushed me over in the whole uh, home brewing thing. Oh, okay. Like we started talking about and one thing he was saying was really interesting is that st- um, Stone San Diego is so uh, good at doing IPAs and so into the IPAs it, because of their water. He was saying hard water. They really shit hard water. But hard water is really good for IPAs. It really helps out the acidity oh, wow. and, and all the flavors in an IPA. And I said, all right, well, you know, what about I love Mammoth Brewing and they have really good IPA, but they have mm-hmm. other stuff. I said, so is it harder for them to produce a good IPA because their water is good? At, you know, it's snow runoff. You know, it's the best fucking water you can get. And he's like, yeah, I mean, IPAs might be a little more difficult, but other things like darker and, and ale type things are, mm. are a lot easier to do and, and come out without having to do a lot of filtration and stuff. So it's really Oh, wow. Okay. So, But he was walking us through the process. And we're asking him homebrew questions. And I was like, all right, maybe I should fucking homebrew. So I came home and spent a lot of money. There you go. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it was a lot of fun. And at the end of the tour, if you guys ever make your way down to Ailsmith, um, there's this really cool thing off to the side. It just looks like wood planks as in like a design on the wall just you know two by four straight across you know nice and stained or whatever but just two by fours across the wall well it's actually a speakeasy they have and they have a hidden door and you have to know the password i've heard of this place it's so cool and the password is on the bar it's it's framed like when we were there it was pine like a pine tree and it's just a it's just a word and it was framed and it was sitting at the regular bar and uh, the lead friend was like what is that for i don't fucking know so we were talking to the guy and telling him we really like bourbon barrel aged stuff he goes really like it i said yeah he goes i got a place for you and at the end of the tour he came in and knocked on the door is and, that right uh, and, and he hooked us up with a sample because we were talking about one and he goes oh we have a bourbon barrel age we're like oh it sounds so good so he hooked us up he's like hey get these guys you know a pour of what i forget what it's called and we had that and then of course we hung out and spent a shit ton of money in there because <laughs> it was delicious but it was really fun so if you go to ale smith go to the little speakeasy off to, when you walk in the brewery it's off to the right it's kind of not hidden but hidden and uh, it's wood paneling and stuff. It's really cool. They have like lounge chairs in there. It's, it's very 1920s speakeasy. Right, right. And it's a lot of fun. So mm-hmm. uh, I recommend that. Uh, what else in San Diego? Just a lot of beer, like I said. Um, it's I love the people in San Diego. My new life goal is to move to San Diego. <laughs> it's a nice place. I got to so say. It's so fucking nice. And now they don't have the Chargers anymore. Right. So, so it's even nicer. <laughs> yeah. One less losing team. All they got to do now is get rid of the Padres. <laughs> <laughs> exactly yeah there's your backup beer fellas um really enjoyed it every like uh restaurant you go to they have the best beer on tap mm. because it's gonna be stone or you know any of those right. ale smith whoever uh we went to this place on new year's eve it was uh i guess it was called monkey paw i think and because that, that's that's their little brewing and we thought like oh we'll go there they the reviews yeah monkey paw had really, really good reviews for like, uh, you know, they have a lot of taps and a lot of good stuff on tap. And they fucking had some good stuff. They had Velvet Merkin on tap. Oh, man. Not Merlin, Merkin. Like, that <laughs> is not easy to find. Uh, they had that and they had a lot of local uh, rare stuff on tap, some stone barrel aged stuff. And they had like a really good bottle collection as well. Mm-hmm. But what people undersold was their own beer. And Monkey Paw's beer was really, really good. And they've also done some collaborations with Stone and Mission, some of the other guys down there. Okay, right. And uh, at midnight on New Year's, they they did a toast and they poured everybody a little bit. And it was this brand new collaboration they had done with Stone. And it, excuse me, someone else, and I, the, the brewery's escaping me. I'm a dick. But it was like a sour kind of farmhouse ale collaboration. It was so good. <laughs> it was like in place of, it was better than champagne. It was, you know, it was their champagne. So. Right. Champagne of beers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, but but actually, yeah, but actually, yeah. Right. <laughs> so uh, so it was really good. Uh, another thing that happened in San Diego, I'll talk about next week. But uh, we took a little class, and I'll I'll share with some of my education with you oh, guys right next on. week cool, from, our, from our class in San Diego. So uh, the other thing I had on here was to talk about the homebrew, but we kind of already talked about that. 
I'm officially home brewing. You guys cannot try it. Yeah, that bled right into sports, didn't it? It did. It, <laughs> let's be fair. It was more important. It was. Um, and the other thing, I had like some existential, I want to say crisis, but uh, I realized something important the other day. We were talking about beer, and I was having, uh, it was a dark, God, I can't remember what it was, something really dark and chocolatey. And I, I started warming it up in my hands because the flavor was, you know, it was good, but it, it was lacking. Mm-hmm. So I started warming it up in my hands, and as it, as it warmed up, it got better. And all of a sudden, it fucking hit me. You know, we were brought up in our young college age to drink our Bud Light or our Miller or whatever shit beer we were pounding as cold as fucking possible. And I realized that's because if it's warm, you actually taste it. <laughs> and nobody wants to taste that shit beer. <laughs> like the whole thought is like, Let's let's get that right to below or right above ice chunks. Uh, I've thought about that actually. Yeah, because and then we don't have to taste it. And we pan- and, and all these good beers that we're really getting into nowadays. It's like I find myself more and more purposely warming them up so I can get the flavors of them. Really? Yeah, especially dark beers. I mean, I some IPAs, but dark beers and barrel aged beers. I find if you just sit there and you fucking palm it, it sounds a little right. more sexual. Um, <laughs> it warms up and the flavors really start to come through. Well, I don't know. I've kind of recently thought about that too with uh, with wines. You know, like like mm-hmm. wines can be warm and you yeah, know, red wine r- especially. Yeah, room temperature. White wine's gross. <laughs> but you get a lot of these beers now that have these corks on it. And I'm like, when are you going to start treating your beer like a wine? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like where it, you know, it doesn't need to be chilled or cold. You could drink it at room temperature, and that's the way it should be drink- drinking. Yeah. Something like that. <laughs> Invented or ordered, yeah. but whatever. You know well, what I'm saying. Yeah, like I have a wine fridge that keeps all my red wine at 66 degrees. And even that's a little cool, but it's as high as it goes. <laughs> but it's mainly just so when it gets hot in the summer, it doesn't exactly. spoil all my wine. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I, I think we're going to get to a point where beer is getting so good that you know certain beers just won't need to be chilled. Right. At all, you know, I don't know. Room temp uh, might be a little warm, but mm-hmm. uh, you know, maybe ten degrees under or something. Right. No more thirty-two degrees for your chocolate stout. Yeah, <laughs> that's interesting. Mm-hmm. Just my little existential uh, breakdown I had. Yeah, I've thought about it. Yeah, I've thought about it. Think about know. it, people. I don't know if I'm down enough to try it though. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't know. Good beer, like to me, like I said, I'm still like it should be cold. You know what I mean? But it's it's a weird thought. It's mm-hmm. you know like the uh, it's, well, it's a lot like the the diet I'm on. I mean, I call it a diet. I've been doing it for almost a year. Mm-hmm. You know, it's uh it's it's keto essentially. So the whole thing is like eat fat, not carbs, not sugar, but eat a lot of fat. That is so weird to break through your brain. Like you've been told all this time, do not eat fat. If it mm-hmm. says fat, it's bad for you. And it's like actually, I've lost a shit ton of weight eating fat. It's the same thing. It's like. Drink warm beer. No. What the yeah, fuck are you talking exactly. about? I wouldn't drink a warm Coke. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't drink. Why would I drink a warm beer? That's disgusting. And you kind of flash back to like when you had a tailgate party and that ice melted and your Bud Light was like at a sort of not so cool 62 <laughs> degrees. It's like, this is getting dicey. And then yeah. the day goes on, it's like 70 degrees. Like, oh God, pound it as fast as you can. I can taste it now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that's the thing. You think like, oh God, I can taste it now. You should be wanting to taste your your delicious craft beers. That's interesting. Or some of them, at That's least. That's interesting. Yeah, if it's a good beer, you should be able to drink it warm or, or at least considerably warmer than when it's yeah. usually. I'll have to uh, maybe for a future show figure out a beer that would be really good warm or close to warm. Right, and we'll try it. We'll do a little beer science. That'd be interesting. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Because I've done a lot of that lately, where I sit there and I just I just palm the beer, and as it warms up. You know, I don't know, 10, 15 degrees. It's like, oh, God, this is so much better than it was two minutes ago when I first got <laughs> it. In fact, I did that on Sunday. I was at, um, oh, shit, Altamont Brewery up north. We had one of their beers uh, a few months ago. It was the, mm-hmm. the green color, the one they did for the Ace. And they had a nutty brown ale. And it was it was more, it was darker. It was almost a stout. But it was real nutty. It had like a peanut butter taste to it. And I tried it. I was like, ah, this is fine. And I sat there and I held it. And like five minutes later, I tried it again. It's like, oh man, this is good. Oh my god, this is so good. Damn it. Yeah. So maybe that's what I need to do. Man, I need to find like a, a chocolatey, nutty. Yeah. <laughs> sounds like yeah, a, it, sounds it's like got... Duke. <laughs> <laughs> chocolatey and nutty. It's a bit nutty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, I, I still feel like you're onto something. But I'm I'm too scared to follow you right now. All right. Well, you know what we'll do is we'll I'll find one that's good warmer, mm-hmm. and we'll do like two samples. One of where it's yeah. like or three samples. We'll do like a cold. A kind of a medium and then like a room temperature sample yeah, and, and we'll see what we like go. best that'd be he's on, he's on into it oh yeah that's some good beer science that's right maybe i'll get her like a really good beer for our new craft yourself mm. segment Ooh. mike did have one good idea yeah craft I, did, I did hear that it means i gotta spend <laughs> a lot of money though so all right anyway that that's all uh, i got for crotch talk 
in my San Diego trip. I'll stop bragging about going to Mecca. <laughs> Old timey word of the week, Sheba. Sheba. It's a woman with sex appeal. Oh. Uh-huh. 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 As in, boy, does that Sheba have some nice bubs. Man, <laughs> there you go. That always goes back to bubs. <laughs> <laughs> or like, what was it? Oh, it just I heard Sheba. It reminded oh. me of the league. <laughs> the league yeah. <laughs> the Shiva Bowl. <laughs> uh, Shiva's hot, too. Oh, my God. Oh, good Lord. Wasn't she hot? So hot. I know. If you people have seen the league, then you know what we're talking about. Dude. And uh, get the Kleenex ready. That's right. Especially when she makes out with Jenny. Oh, oh yeah. my God. So good. Best scene of the whole series. Mm-hmm. Awesome. They could just like put that on repeat for eight seasons. I did. <laughs> <laughs> for eight seasons? <laughs> Not eight seasons. God damn, your wrist must be fucked. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, speaking of Sheba's, let's do a little chick of the week. Mm-hmm. All right, damn, fellas, it's Dish of the Day. Yes. Dish of the day, chick of the week. Uh, I don't have her name. She did not post it on uh, the old Instagrams, but you can find her at Craft Coasters. All one word, at Craft Coasters. Craft Coasters. Mm-hmm. Kind of like our coaster giveaway. Ooh. She likes herself some tasty beer. She also likes to wear wow. revealing tops. Yes, she does. Why not? And uh, she's easy on the eyes. Flaunt it if you yeah. got it. Yeah, and she's right. from Italy or Who something. Who cares about her name? Yeah. <laughs> As The Rock might say. <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so anyway, check her out at Craft Coasters on Instagram. Of course, as per always, we'll be posting up her picture on all our social medias. Facebook, which is Unfiltered Gentleman. Instagram, The Unfiltered Gentleman. And, uh, of course, Twitter, at Unfiltered Gents. That is our chick of the week. Uh, it's been a while since we've talked some <laughs> some beer news. So let's, let's yes. talk a little news. Extra, extra, fellas. It's news for you. So, uh, Smart Asset, smartasset.com, did a story on the best cities for beer drinkers. And this is right at the end of the year. This is their end of 2016 edition. Mm-hmm. Guessing San Diego is going to be in there, huh? That's exactly what I thought. <laughs> Spoiler alert. It's not. Oh. In fact, there are no California cities. What? Wow. Yeah. Really? Really. No uh, San Diego, nothing up north. I'm shocked. Yes. Any guesses as to what might be on the top 10? Somewhere in New York. Boston? Nope. Um, Boston? No. Nope. Okay, Colorado. Something in Colorado. Uh, I thought so. Oh, yeah. Denver, of course. Denver, Colorado. Number seven, Denver. Ooh. Uh, I'll just run through the top okay. 10. Number 10, Missoula, Montana. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Number nine, Billings, Montana. Wow. Two Montana cities. Damn. But San Diego hasn't been. Uh, yeah, cut. that's uh, suspicious. Yeah. Uh, Wilmington, North Carolina tied for. Oh, there's two tied for seven. It's Wilmington and Denver tied for seven. Uh, six, Columbus, Ohio. Five, Portland, Oregon. I can attest okay. to Portland having yeah. some good beer. Columbus, Ohio? Apparently. There's mm. nothing else to do out there. <laughs> hey. mm-hmm. uh, number four, Cincinnati, Ohio. Two Ohio's, goddamn. Number th- right? Yeah. Number three, Pittsburgh, PA. Uh, yeah, I was going to say them. Number two, the other Portland in Maine. Mm. And number one, and the beer girl will be so happy about this. Asheville, North Carolina. Wow. She said it on an episode once that it's like the beer capital or whatever. And She hit it. I guess so. Uh, they're, they're, I don't know, the way they came up with this. In order to determine the best cities for beer drinkers, we looked at metrics like the number of microbreweries per city, the number mm-hmm. of microbreweries per 100,000 residents, the number of bars per 100,000 residents, the average Yelp score of breweries, and the average price of a pint in each city. Ah, uh, Okay. So California got ripped off of that average pint. Because we're expensive <laughs> as fuck. Yeah. That's what we get, man. That's yeah, what we get. Yeah, I think San Diego is number one until they factored in price. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Drop those prices, everybody. You yeah. get on the list. Come on. Absolutely. Please. Uh, what else in beer news? Oh, Firestone has said that uh, Sukaba will not be released as a 2017 vintage. You know, they do like every year there's like su- different Sukaba and a different Sticky mm. Monkey and, and a different Parabola and all that stuff. Sukaba is not getting a 2017 release. Um, but they did say a new Firestone beer is coming on February 4th. 
Okay. That's all I said. So I guess we have to well, wait for February 4th. I kind of thought that would be coming because they did what knock off a couple of them, right? Yeah. Uh, Oval, Wookie, Wookie Jack, Jack, Double yeah, Jack. God damn. Put its head on the guillotine and yeah. it's gone now. But Don't bring the tears back, please. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, uh, I, I had a feeling, hey, one, you know, one or two or three or four are gone. There'll be one or two or three or four to replace them. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure they're replacing it with something good. Right. I am surprised they're getting rid of Sakaba. My guess is they'll bring it back the following year or something because mm-hmm. people are going to get angry. Yeah. The posts, like they put that on Facebook. There'd be riots in the streets. Well, the, the posts <laughs> in response. Their jerseys. Yeah. <laughs> Burn their Firestone bottles. <laughs> <laughs> the responses that they were getting on that post were hilarious. Really? Like people were really angry. Oh, wow. I mean, like cussing at them, like, you guys are fucking idiots. You know, what the fuck are you thinking? God dang. Somebody was saying, like, oh, ever since you merged with Duvel, like, you, you know, you're fucked now. They replied to something like that one. They were like, oh, actually, ever since we merged, we've been doing great and making more beers than we ever have. So I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> God, man. Oh, God. To people take it that seriously. Yeah, yeah. People were angry. They don't realize who they're talking to. That's okay, right. Yeah, apparently. Yeah. You don't bite the hand that feeds you. That's right. <laughs> yeah, please. That's Come what on. I'm saying. Oh, God. That's why I'm like, okay, you can take it away, but bring something back, yeah, please. Yeah, of course. You know? And you know they will. Yeah. Come and they're on. smart about it. You know they're going to bring back, like, Wookie Jack is some special release yeah, to charge yeah. double for. Of course. It's, it'll be gone forever, guys. Yeah. Take yeah. it easy. No special release. I uh, have full confidence that Firestone will be bringing something back probably even better than Yep, I agree. Yeah. Dare we say it, but I agree. Yeah. You know, I should tell you guys, I finally made my way down to Propagator in Venice, the Firestone oh, yeah? place in Venice. And uh, great food, as I suspected, because the restaurant in Paso has great food. But uh, they have some beers that you can only get there in their restaurant. They had, I think it was called like the F1 and the Generation something, a couple of IPAs, really good stuff, a couple of sours you can only get there. It was really good. I, hmm. I suggest we all take a field trip down to all Propagator. Right. Hey. Have some beverages. Yes. Down with Business that. Business trip. Mm-hmm. Yes. Maybe we could write it off. Write it off. Yeah. <laughs> and they have a huge walk-in fridge that you Ooh. can just go in and pick oh, up wow. cans or bottles oh, wow. or whatever you need there. Nice. Yeah. So maybe like we'll have like a a party for the next Luponic release and go down there or something. <laughs> Guys, night out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ten man. o'clock rolls around. Our ladies are calling us. Oh yeah. The fuck are you? Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> this yeah. guy's nice out. Yeah. We've got an Uber driver with us. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we go, guys. Yeah. Oh, We're my. being safe about it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh god, it's terrible. Yeah. One uh, more beer and I'll drive. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we gotta get you ready to drive. <laughs> oh man. Uh what else? Oh, Pornhub. Ooh. I'm sure none of you have heard of that. My what is that? Is that? Yeah. Is that a beer? Up? Yeah. <laughs> Pornhub has released the uh, 2016 porn stats. Oh my no. name wasn't in there, was it? Shit. Yeah, top ten. Oh <laughs> top ten users. <laughs> I see all three or wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, so bandwidth used, and this is just Pornhub. This isn't even like all the other porn sites. 3,110 petabytes of bandwidth. Oh my God. So a terabyte is a thousand gigabytes. I think a petabyte is a thousand terabytes. Something like that. Ugh. I thought a petabyte was like a pervert. Or yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's a different kind of porn. Oh. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was like, yeah. "What kind of shit is that?" I never searched petabyte. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On average, it was ninety-nine gigabytes of streaming per second. Wow, six terabytes per minute. <laughs> uh, what else? Number of videos viewed: uh, ninety-one trillion nine eighty. You you can correct my billion or trillion, but it's ninety one nine eighty two two five zero zero zero. Total visits to Pornhub twenty three billion at sixty four million per day. Holy wow. shit! Wow. Yeah, or seven hundred twenty nine per second. God, can you imagine? Yeah. Ton, top ten countries with uh, per capita page views. Number ten is not on this graphic, but <laughs> why would they do that to us? Number nine is Sweden. Number eight is Australia. Number seven, Norway. Number six, Ireland. Number really? five, New Zealand. Number four, Canada. Number three, UK. Number two, Iceland. I guess they're lonely up there in <laughs> Iceland. And uh, of course, number one, the good old US. All right. Yeah. You know I've who's never been not prouder. on that list and I'm worried about? Japan. Oh. <laughs> what are they up to over oh, there? Man. They are not on Pornhub. They're beyond us. They're oh. on Tentacle Hub or something. <laughs> I don't know what the hell they're on. Good God. Maybe that's the 10 that's not showing up in this graphic. Yeah. Oh, no. Here's number 10. It's very small. Netherlands. Oh. Netherlands. Yeah. Japan. Not in the top 10. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. I'm worried about them. Yeah. You should be. Um, what else? 
top 20 traffic countries. It's pretty much similar as the previous one. U.S. is the number one. So uh, go us. Number one, Oh, here's the most searched for terms. What would you think is the number one searched for porn term category? Whatever. Anal. <laughs> nope. Pussy? Nope. Like when you go to a porn site and you type in like the style of porn you're looking for. Latinas. <laughs> <laughs> raider on a raider. <laughs> Uh, the number one search was lesbian. Oh, oh, right under our noses. Yeah. Number two, these people need therapy. Stepmom. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Followed by MILF, teen, stepsister, mom, cartoon, hentai, massage, Japanese. There you go. Yep. Uh, <laughs> Overwatch. I don't even know what Overwatch is. Overwatch. Yeah, yeah, that sounds like some investigation. I know, yeah, yeah, I know what I'm watching. <laughs> let, me, yeah, let me hit the Google. Uh, anal, ebony, threesome, lesbian, scissoring, cream pie, Asian, cream black, pie. squirt, and finally gangbang. <laughs> gangbang taking a dip. Yeah. Yeah, so hmm. interesting. And that was, uh, I guess, global search. So hmm. mm-hmm. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. People, That's pretty cool. We like our lesbians. <laughs> we do. We absolutely do. There's nothing wrong with that. No, there's not. No, nothing wrong at all. Mm-mm, you might want to get your stepmom searches in check, but uh, that's a different story. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, Dan. Oh is, yeah. Is bringing it this year. He's got a movie for us. Oh, yeah. Have you seen the latest moving picture? Let's talk movies for guys. All right. So I, I know I. Failed to show up the last couple of weeks and I had, you know, some Christmas movies to go with. But I hey, know. out with the old, in with the new. More Krampus? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, just for you, I did pull something from Krampus. Oh, you did? There it is. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> that That's awesome. Yeah. I'm glad we could get a, a, mm-hmm. a drop for that. But um, but yeah, I did watch uh, some other movies. I did watch uh, Bad Santa 2. Mm. Not that good. Mm. And I did watch. Sort of um, I kind of liked it. The night before. Oh, did you I really? watch Bad Santa too? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. I, I mean, I, I, zone. it probably wasn't the best movie ever made. <laughs> right, right, right. I, I was bored and I watched it. It was kind of fun. <laughs> yeah, I saw some other movies, but uh, one that I had I couldn't wait to talk about was uh, Wolf Cop, and uh, we got the trailer here. Did you think I'm myself when I'm the wolf? <laughs> you did seem like freakishly strong. You had those claws and those teeth. Plus, you know, you were drunk, so I knew it was you. <laughs> Hello? Hello? My. What big teeth you have. Hmm. That's not all. You're a wolf. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, a wolf cop tells the story of uh, Officer Lou Garou. And uh, first off, great name, yeah. It, it, what, what cousins what a, to Julia Gulia? <laughs> what a hero to have as your main character! I got to say, I don't think this guy was sober for one minute of the <laughs> entire movie. This guy constantly had a drink in his hand yeah. and was throwing one up, one or the other. <laughs> he was awesome, but uh, unfortunately for Lou, he's not exactly the best police officer. Uh, his sarge says he's on thin ice, and you know he's got because uh, he's not cracking cases and he's showing up late, but. You know, I'm like, hey, get off his back. Yeah, you try yeah. working with a hangover. It's hard. That's it's right. rough work. Yeah. yeah. So already I'm sympathizing with the character. I want to see Lou do well. Um, they send him off to the woods and they're like, hey, you know, you, you got to break up these kids that are all in the woods. You know, we have our annual drink and shoot that's going to happen, <laughs> <laughs> which is a real thing in that show, in that movie. So he goes out there. He gets clubbed aside the head. He's knocked unconscious. He wakes up the next morning in his own bed and he's thinking, oh, did I dream the whole thing or what? But he's having all these memories of uh, these people performing a ritual on him. Hey now. And yeah, you know, <laughs> sh- sure enough, 10 o'clock happens and he turns into a werewolf. Uh-oh. So um, my rule of thumb for a, a werewolf mo- movie or monster movie or anything is always show hey. your penis. <laughs> <laughs> Give it just like Teen Wolf. <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait till you actually get to see the monster or the transformation. Then you can make a judgment on if you want to continue watching this movie because there's a lot of shitty movies. I do have standards, you know. I <laughs> might shock you guys to know that, but I do I'm have a little stand- surprised. Yeah, I do have standards when I watch movies. I said, let me give it till you know he tra- changes into the wolf. Pretty awesome transformation. I mean, he's basically ripping his skin off mm. over. Like I'd never seen it that way. Usually, it's like. 
you turn into the wolf. Like there's right, hair like growing hair on sprouts. you. Hair sprouts. Yeah, hair sprouts. This one, it's like a cocoon. Like he's like ripping his skin off. And then he's the wolf underneath. How he turns back, I mean, that's science. I don't know. I don't know all that. <laughs> but your uh, science. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, but in the movie, um, there's these people that want to, uh, they want to kill the, the the werewolf, you know, the wolf cop. Sure. You know, and uh, because I guess they've done this before and they know that, you know, they've killed plenty. <laughs> Not of, another one. Yeah. They, they've killed plenty of werewolves. But uh, the guy is saying, hey, you know, this one is different. He's stronger. You know what's making this guy stronger? He's drunk all the fucking time. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he's stronger. It's like a retard strength. Yeah, exactly. You know, this movie it reminds me of uh, because I mean, think about it. How could you kill kill a werewolf? The only way to do it is to have a silver bullet, right? Right. You know, and and if you're com- committing a crime, you're not thinking about keeping a silver bullet on you because a werewolf's going to catch you. So there's no way you're going to kill him. You know, so he's basically. This movie's kind of like RoboCop if instead of eating baby food, he drank Jack Daniels. <laughs> so I was like, I'm all on board for this Shit, movie. Might as well call me RoboCop then. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But he's he's fighting crime. And, you know, t- to me, this movie came off as kind of like, a, like an origins movie. Like, um, thankfully, there's, there's going to be a wolf cop too. And oh, good. It, it actually came out last year. So I, I want to see if I can find a way to catch it. But um, as far as this movie goes, you know, yeah, definitely. I, I found it on Netflix, and um, y- you know, I-, I say anybody should should watch this movie. You know, make sure you have a beverage on hand because this guy he's putting it away, and he's gonna he's he'll gonna make, make you jealous if oh, you don't. He makes he made me thirsty. I was drinking beer, and then he starts drinking the hard liquor. I had to switch the Bacardi to cola. I'm like, I gotta keep up with this guy. This is crazy. <laughs> So I mean, it, it's an awesome movie. Um, there is, a, I gotta say, there is a sex scene in oh. the movie. You better believe he does now a do- He does a doggy <laughs> style. You oh, of course he it. does. Oh, yeah. As the wolf. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> exactly. Nice. Yeah. So it, it's a it's a really cool movie, and um, yeah, I thoroughly enjoy. Good. There, it. There's part of the trailer that I I didn't put on here because it's just kind of mm-hmm. music. It didn't really do itself well for a podcast. But I right. love. He wakes up. He's hungover and like he's struggling to put his belt on as he runs out to the car. Oh yeah! He gets in his car. He starts to back out of the driveway. Stops. Opens the door. Pukes. <laughs> goes to the door and continues on. Exactly. Oh, God. And, and then when he's putting on his 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 gun and everything, his gun falls yeah. over. I mean, this guy, poor guy, man. I mean, it's hard to do things when you're hungover sometimes. Yeah, it was great how they were able to capture the essence of midlife or of Scott over here getting ready to Uber in the morning. Yeah, it's, yeah. It sounded familiar. Yeah, gets in his car, ready to Uber, then yeah. opens the door, pukes. Yeah, yeah I thought this guy. He, He's perfect for the show, I thought. Like, this is mm-hmm. the perfect hero for us, I think, would be Wolf Cop. I mean, the guy's always drunk. I mean, how could you not? I mean, he shows up to the bar, and they're like, oh, the usual Lou. They give him a shot of whiskey with a <laughs> beer chaser. How could you not love this guy? Nice. Well, you know how, like, Keith Richards played Johnny Depp's dad <clears throat> in Pirates of the Caribbean? Mm-hmm. Maybe Scott could play his dad in the Wolf <laughs> Cop 3. Oh, man. Yeah. That, it should be done. Right? Yeah, it should be done. It only seems fitting. Yeah, I agree. I just be myself. Right. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I can, can you uh, just show up? <laughs> <laughs> Need me to do anything? Nope. 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 Just show on up. We'll be good to go. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, uh, by the way, my apologies. It was Bad Santa one I watched. <laughs> I meant to watch two. Oh, and then, no, I do like Bad Santa. Yeah, the first one's I, I, good. I meant to watch two, and then I ended up starting watching one, and so I just stuck with it. There you go. Mm-hmm. I probably had a few beverages by then. So mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Like a couple Diet Cokes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. A couple glasses of milk. That'll happen. Yeah. Yeah, I've I've only heard bad things about Bad Santa too. Yeah, it's not that good. Yeah, kind of like Anchorman. Oh, Anchorman oh, really? too. Yeah. Yeah, correct. How could it be as good as the original? Yeah, yeah. you can't you can't do that again, man. Sure, just left well alone. We're we're like I said with Wolf Cop. <laughs> like I said, this was more of an origin. This is yeah. like a this is just how he became Wolf Cop. This is just like hey, this is the taste of the ice, the tip of the iceberg. You know, I'm ready for some more Wolf Cop already. Like some I'm more doggy go, stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah let's do it. Yeah. yeah. And more than <laughs> just a tip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can't wait for more review of Wolf Cop. Yeah. This is going to be good. Uh, all right, let's 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 uh, get the fuck out of here. My beer is empty. That's dangerous territory. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, all right, next week we got lots of good stuff. I'm going to tell you guys about the uh, class I took down in San Diego. Dan's got another movie for us. I'm just going to say the name of it. Bone Tomahawk. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> it may or may not be uh, sexual. <laughs> we'll find out next week. Uh, in the meantime, make sure you check us out, theunfilteredgentleman.com. You can listen to the shows. You can find our beers of the week, all that good stuff. Social media eyes with us, uh, Facebook, Unfiltered Gentleman, Instagram, uh, The Unfiltered Gentleman. What's the other one? Uh, Twitter. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> At Unfiltered Gents and 
538 beer is the number to call or text or whatever you want to do. It's our show number. So send us beer things. And uh, don't forget, coaster slash magnet giveaway. All I got to do is just basically give us something to use. It's that easy. So on that note, good night, everybody. Good night, everybody.